Hello everyone, this video is going to go over how to create a Word document in your Microsoft Office 365 account, how to set up that document in MLA format, and how to then turn in that document on your Blackboard account. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Blackboard account on Blackboard, so your account for English 101 should look like my screen here. And then you're going to open up another tab and you're going to open up your CAC email. So go to cac.edu, click on students, scroll down and click student email. Now I'm already logged in, so it's going straight into a Mac, my account. If you are not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. It should be the same username and password that you use to get into your Blackboard account. Once you're on this screen, you're going to come over to the left and you're going to click on Word. Then you're going to open up a new blank document. Now the first thing that we're going to do is make sure all of our spacing is correct. So we're going to go to the top and click on Layout. Then go over to the right and click on Spacing After and change that to zero. Then we're going to click those three dots click Paragraph Options, and right here where it says Line Spacing, we're going to click Double. Change that to Double and click OK. Now that that is done, we're going to click the Home tab, and we're going to change our font to Times New Roman and 12. And now you're ready to start typing your MLA heading. The first line of your MLA heading should be the student name. Then press enter and type in your teacher's name. Then press enter and type in your class name. Press enter and type in the date in military format. So that's going to be the day. So it's the 13th. Space January for months that are more than four letters long. You're going to use the abbreviation. So J A N for January. Space and the year 2022. Then you're going to hit enter one time and you're going to center your cursor so that you can type a title. So be sure you're in the home tab and then come over with your mouse to the button that looks like this. It says text alignment if you hover over it. Click the little arrow and click the second option that says align center. You're going to click that button and now you're ready to type your title for your document. So the title for this document will be MLA Practice. After you type your title, hit enter again, go back to the alignment tab at the top, and move your cursor back over to align left. So your screen should look the way mine looks right now. With your cursor all the way to the left, we're going to start our first paragraph. So we're going to hit the tab button to indent. Now for this assignment, I only want you to type one sentence that explains what you should study for the quiz on Tuesday. So I need to study my MLA notes for the quiz on Tuesday. And that is all I need you to type in the document. Uh, we're not typing paragraphs or anything like that. Just what do you study? What do you need to study for the quiz on Tuesday? Now, we only have two more things left. You need to add a header. So we'll click on header up here. We're going to click insert. And then we're going to come over to page numbers. We're going to click the last one on the top row. Do not mess with this code. Leave it alone. You're going to type your last name and hit the space bar. Now, notice that the document font did not change in the header when we changed it earlier. You have to do it for the header again. So select your words in your header, click File, and then change that to Times New Roman 12-point font. And then click in this gray area, and it will disappear on the screen, but it is not gone. So if you want to double check yourself, click on File, click print, click print, and it'll pull up a print preview. And notice that right here at the top, my header is there.
So now the last thing is to save it as the appropriate document name. So come up here to the word document in the blue bar, click the word document, and underneath file name, we're going to type last name, first initial, assignment name, MLA practice, and then term, spring 22. If you want to put a space in between those things, that is perfectly fine with me. And then you hit enter and you're done. So now we need to get this document from our OneDrive onto Blackboard. The easiest way I have found to do this is to go to File and then click Save As and click Download a Copy. Download a copy to your computer. Most of the time it will uh, download to this bar on the bottom of your screen. If it does, that's a good thing. We're going to leave it there. I want you to move over to your Blackboard tab. Open up your assignment. So this is the MLA practice assignment. View the assessment. And then you're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And you're going to click the submission box. And then if your download popped up on the bottom of your screen, you can click and drag into that box. Then you're going to click save. If your download did not populate in this bottom area of your screen, then you'll click on the attachment button, this paper clip, and it will pull up all of the documents on your computer, and then you just have to go find where your document saved to your computer. So once you have it here and you click Save, you're going to click Submit, and then you're going to click Submit one more time. And once you get a notice that says your submission was successful, you can close out. You should also receive an email um, in your CAC email that says that you submitted the assignment online. So if it ever gets lost in translation, if the power goes out, if I email you and say that I don't have your work, um, then you have that email to prove that you did in fact turn it in. So you just close and you're done. Uh, you log out of everything and you are ready to go. Um, Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if Blackboard is not working for you the way that it is working in this video, please email me. Screenshots are always good so I can see what problems you're having. But um, I will be on my email all weekend, so if you have any problems at all, please let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.